Well, good afternoon, football fans, and welcome to the capital city of Manitoba. This is Winnipeg, site of the 400th match in Canadian Premier League history and the final match of the round. A replay of Valor and York's season opener. Here is Phil Dos Santos' team playing in their 4-1-2-3 today. Not a single change from their draw at Vancouver last Sunday. Martin Nash makes three changes to his 4-2-3. 3-1. Lasana Fai, Tassimo Dakutis, who is back in the team, Parish G and Jonathan Grant on defense. I think an understated element of both of these teams, all is from the matches I've seen. I know you've called a few Valor games now, too. But both York United and Valor look absolutely miserable to play against. Physical and quick. Here's Nianga Berry. That's a great looking ball to Kean Williams. Jonathan Grant throws him off the rhythm. Going out to it's good to see. Brienne takes Tasty to the back post. Now the play! A whiff! What a chance. Good on the ball as well. I think they've improved in terms of this kind of thing, building up from the back. Nice dummy from Nyanga Berry and gets it back to Polisi. Nyanga Berry spins through a sea of white shirts. Ricci coughs it up. York United definitely feeling the pressure. It's Dante Campbell. Vaccaro with four maroon shirts in the box. The end of Barry goes up, but a great diving flick from Giant Sopolis to clear it from the penalty area. Better from the end of Barry. Vaccaro to Gutierrez. Out wide. Settled down Williams. Cutting in Williams! Reaching up is Nico Giantsopoulos with the best stop of the match. Fantastic stop from Nico Giantsopoulos. It's a nice little move from Valor. This again, I think, is where their game has really improved this year. Just their ability. They were able to get by and behind Zibrienne on a couple of occasions and just lacked conviction on the final ball. Opportunity for them here. Di Rosario turns around. Dante Campbell fires a shot. Martin Nash has adopted the power stance as he leans in. Knows that, excuse me, Phil Dos Santos adopting the power stance, that is. There's Baia. It's going to find Babuli. Mo Babuli! Breaks the match wide open. Just the second shot of the game. And Mo Babuli celebrates his second goal of the season. Hard done by for Rayan Yesley. It's good pressure all the way to the byline, keeps the possession alive, and Babuli does what Babuli does best. And the visitors only get a huge goal. What a massive goal this could be for York United. And you kind of felt at halftime when I saw those stats and it was zero shots, zero XG. That didn't tell the full story because Bayer's got in these positions three or four times now. Transfer Anthony Novak wearing number 23 in maroon to make an instant impact. Now Gaberi and Ricci once again shoulder to shoulder as De Brienne goes in. It's oh. Ponce misses. Walter Ponce could have leveled the match on a free header. Yes, that was a fast cross, but it was perfect from De Brienne. Ponce is going to have to be perfect the rest of the way. Gutierrez, great looking by Novak to touch the control. And Stone cold, Nico Giantsopoulos makes another good one. Anianga Berry to Gutierrez, looking for an equalizer. Novak to the back post. Paris G clears it away first. De Brienne with anchors. Matteo De Brienne! <laughs> Anthony Novak for Kean Williams. 
Novak outside of his foot. Ulora. Yeah, Ulora. Deflected away. He's going to be disappointed, no question. There's great spirit, great fight in this Valor team, and I think the fans will respond to that. But they've had two absolute great A chances that they passed up in this match. Well, Loma Bulli early in the first half opened the scoring for York United. Matteo de Brienne would respond in the 72nd minute.